You guys still battling it out? That's what keeps our marriage alive and kicking, Ray. Uh, what can we do you for? The works. Coming right up. You know anything about politics, Ray? Famous quotes, things like that? I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Well, Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> right behind you, lady. You ever seen this girl around here? Maybe in the arcade? Oh, yes. I saw her come out of the arcade yesterday. No, it was the day before. Maybe you saw her both days. No, I'm positive. It was yesterday. You're positively wrong. It was two days ago, sure as God made little green apples. You're getting Alzheimer's, sweetie. Okay, okay, just forget it. You know where I could score some cheese? Like this stuff? Boy, don't flesh that around here. He's the police, sweetie. Besides, the kids today just as soon twist a knife in your backside as to ask Virginian for the tram home. Show that cheese around here, you become a marked man. Who sells it? No, we aren't asking for any trouble, Ray. I'm not working, Bunko. I just want some information. That nutty board who runs Kingston Kitchen. She's always bragging about her special ingredient. That stew she makes, it always did taste a little gamey. And she charges an arm and leg for it, too. Be good, you two. Be good, you two. It's a killer, I kid you not. Only 35 thou. Yeah, red, orange, blue, puke, green, any color you want. Just give me 24 to hose the graffiti off. Just kidding. Ask for the man, Crazy Legs Larry, to Lou. Admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. Of course, you gotta find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy Legs, Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me Crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. Okay. The Bishi's exceptional. Mechanical as Pacific Rim flawless as usual. But they also saved some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. You see it? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it before. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. Eh, give it, take a couple letters. I'll have to think about it. Don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. Gotcha. How about this girl? She look familiar? <laughs> you kidding? She ain't old enough to drive. You've never seen her? She looks kind of familiar. Think real hard. Maybe you should try that arcade next door. She looks like the kind of girl you see there all the time. I'll do that. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that as a yes. That sucks. Locked. Locked.
Hey, Ray, how you doing? Just fine, crazy. You've been thinking about the cat, haven't you? I don't blame you. She keeps me up at night, too. And I ain't ever even lip-wrestled in the back seat. Which is definitely what's in the cards for a stud of your caliber. Throw in a babe and maybe you got a deal. No sweat, I'll have one over in a jiffy. Not just kidding. Is this scale from a fish? Same as other one. Not fish. Snake scale. What other one? Other police show me scale from same snake. I send him to Abdul Hassan. How could you tell I was police? Both of you walking around look confused. Like you in wrong place. Any luck finding more of that dragonfly jewelry? Ah, oh, see, see, I was right. Piece you show me was part of a collection, bought for a nightclub in Fourth Sector. You know the name of the nightclub owner? No, senor. But my friend, he says the man is not selling. Thanks for your help. What happened to your scorpions? So, new shipment next week, if you like one. Someone bought all of them? See, a beautiful lady. A beautiful lady who needed a hundred scorpions? What people like to do with them, I do not ask. It's much better to mind my own business. Gotcha. How's business? Good, very good. Holidays coming soon. Everyone wants insects. Yeah, I can't imagine a better stocking stuffer. Mia and Murray tell me you're using cheese in your stew. Real cheese. Dim old buzzards. What they know? I could take a sample of that stew you're cooking back to the lab and have it tested. Why you pick on Mama Isabella? I never do you no harm. Where'd you get it? My sister. She got connections. Where can I find her? She back in Jamaica, man. Far away from here. She send me cheese once, maybe twice a month. You know, funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man, he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Police next door, they just laugh. Say the guy not be so happy when he opened them cartons. <laughs> What's that have to do with the cheese? Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. 
So how could I tell police to bring back box? They find cheese, they shot me down. This guy who robbed you, what did he look like? Short, real short. Bad clothes, colors way too bright. Funny bow tie. Maybe you look for this ugly little TV, huh? I'm thinking you not really care about the cheese. You're right, but I still think you ought to get yourself a different secret ingredient. You bet, man. That cheese been nothing but trouble for Mama Isabella. Thanks for your time. You got any discs from that camera? I just served drinks, pal. But if you're gonna sit there until I cough it up, well, here it is. McCoy, LPD. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. China bar. Goosa? Give me a hard copy of that. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete.
Be good, you two. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Oh, we can- I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't-
Hey, man. You're that cat from Howie Lee's. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet, but Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinyan someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snappy, okay? I really appreciate your patience. You know the chef at Howie's? That big flabby guy? Never seen him before. You were hanging around right when he took off. Pure coincidence. You are one hell of a suspicious cat, McCoy. Kick back, relax, watch my show. Take a little break from your boring existence. Everybody having a good time tonight? What does a marriage and a tornado have in common? First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. You know what my first wife's nickname was? Twister. A doctor calls up his patient. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is, you only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, what could be worse than that? The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> Guess what happens to a replicant who does his job really well? Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner unit. One of the LPD's finest, Ray McCoy. Let's give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. Nice job, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. How about yourself? You sure about yourself? Cause I got some friends, they say they know you. You're lying. I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. Hey, Hanoi, where's Early? Off World Fat Farm. <laughs> you can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a vid just yesterday. Getting the hell of a tanny is. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Let me tell you what I want and maybe I'll impress you.
What's your pleasure, sir? The highest octane. One Venus high trap coming up. Early, how's it hanging? Thick, slick, and hard as a brick. How's yours, General? Your man gave me a hard time out there. Yeah, I like Hanoi, but I can't deny his sphincter's a little tight. What's on tap tonight? Classy shows all evening, General. You're gonna be able to cut diamonds down there. Oh, your money back. This girl one of yours? This ain't no daycare center, General. Of course she ain't half bad looking. My pappy always used to say if there's grass on the field, it's time to play ball. So, she hasn't been around here? Nah, she ain't one of mine. Talk to Taffy, he gets most of the petty business around here. It's men like you that made this country great early. You buy some jewelry at an auction recently? Real old, elite stuff? Who's asking? You ain't with robbery homicide. No, sir. Eh, those pieces ain't hot. I got the papers to prove it. I picked them up at legitimate auction. Cost me nearly a pound of flesh, too. You give this stuff to a girlfriend early? You kidding? I ain't that stupid. No, 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 no. I was letting one of my dancers use this stuff in her act. Kind of a tribute to the ancient swamp lands, you know what I mean? Which dancer? Heck, give up. She's going on in a few. She's one of my biggest earners, too. She ain't in any trouble now, is she? Not yet. Good, good. Wouldn't want to slaughter the goose that lays them golden eggs. Hey, early. I'm working right now, General. Ask me later. Sod off. You got no appointment and you got no warrant. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. Sod off, McCoy. I've got no time for you. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. This here's reserved for VIPs. But that's my name, Vip. You're real cute boy -o. Sod off, McCoy. I've got no time for you.
Not the talkative type. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. Not the talkative type. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's the green? Neptune's nip. I think you'll enjoy it, sir. Hey, early. I'm working right now, General. Ask me later. The wondrous, mysterious Hecuba, singing and performing the sacred Thanatos dance of the ancient swamp 